I'm Emily Jones of GPB Savannah here with a What You Need to Know coronavirus segment. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp has outlined a plan to reopen certain businesses, including gyms. Mark Libos owns Strong Gym in Savannah. Hey, Mark. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, so you have said that even though you are allowed to reopen um, in the following the state guidelines, um, that you're not planning on reopening your gym. Why is that? Well, it's just not safe yet. Uh, you know, and the best thing to do in any profession is to adhere to best practices. Uh, I think that's what any business owner's lawyer would advise. And for my field, best practices are first and foremost, of course, taking care of the health and wellness of our clients. That's what we're here to do. And uh, I tend to follow the guidelines of the American College of Sports Medicine, ACSM, and I have not found anything um, that indicates that they are uh, supporting the notion of getting back into gyms just yet. Um, and then if you look at what's being advised by the CDC and medical and, and scientific professionals across the globe, for that matter, um, it's just a little early yet, I think, for all that. Uh, the reality is, is that many of our clients are uh, elderly, uh, retired and and therefore at greater risk. Uh, many of the people who come to a gym have pre-existing conditions like diabetes, which is why they're coming to work out. Uh, they, they could have had cancer and they're trying to regain their strength and, and recover from these types of things. And this would be uh, just a devastating uh, thing to be in the profession that I'm in. You know, we're here to help people get stronger and healthier and to have one of our clients die from something that happened at our, at our facility would be uh, not the exclamation point I would want on my career. I think we've done a pretty good job up until now of um, you know, helping our clients. We don't wanna be a vector for death. That would be a bad idea. So one of the reasons that the governor gave for allowing businesses like gyms and um, hair salons and, and those sorts of places to reopen in a kind of limited way is that unlike, you know, retail that can do online sales or uh, restaurants that can offer to go food, uh, there isn't really a way for a gym to operate and to make money. Um, is that a concern that you have? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's a concern that really uh, all Americans should have because it doesn't just affect my business. Obviously, we're talking about lots of people. You know, lots of people have businesses um, and rely, uh, or employees that rely on that income to provide for their families. And, and, and I come on, we all know that. Um, I just, in my particular instance, uh, we are under a tremendous amount of financial pressure. You know, we have been closed down. I personally have been closed down since just before St. Patrick's Day. Um, it, that was a time at which we were busy, busy, busy trying to find what's the best practice, right? So I had a cleaning station at the entrance where you instantly sanitized your hand and your phones, your phones in your hand, ha hands and phones, whatever. And then you had to go to the bathroom to wash your hands, put your stuff in a locker, and we cleaned every surface that you touched. When we did that for a good week, it's exhausting. And you go through an enormous amount of supplies doing that. And the reality is, and everybody knew it, um, which is we're doing the best we can, but it might not be enough. We need to step back, let the doctors who are treating this treat it. And then if your child needs to go to the pediatrician and all that stuff, that's essential, right? Um, strong gym and bowling and uh, the movies and all those things will wait, uh, at least in my family, so. Yeah. Well, Mark Libos of Strong Gym in Savannah, thank you so much. Emily Jones at GPB, thank you so much. For more of GPB's coverage of COVID-19, visit gpb.org slash virus.